hello everybody so I am going to be doing a late update of my uh, 12 pans of Christmas it ends I'm assuming either the 20th or the 25th I still haven't really paid too close attention to exactly what day it ends but I forgot to film it when I needed to update so I want to try and get this up before December 1st so you can at least see a little bit of my progress that I've had. I do have quite a few empties and one I threw out, I think I might have mentioned that at my last update maybe. So I'll show the empties first. The first one is the Bath & Body Works Coconut Mint Drop Body Cream. Completely finished this up which so happy. This was my first update. Date. that's where I started and then this was my first update so I used up all of this so I'm so proud of myself in doing that I used up the um, what is this Paul Mitchell scalp care anti thinning shampoo which I don't think it worked for the anti thinning but um, I just tried to use it up so this was my I think first update right here so I finished up just that little bit the bonus item that I added in was Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer and I finished this. This I'm very happy about. I finished the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. The last update that I did, I probably had, I didn't realize it was further down than what I had thought so I really only had I think like one or two uses left out of this to finish it which I had that forever so I'm so proud of myself that I finished that and the next thing that I've had for a while that I'm so happy that I finished it was the Bosha cool blue hydrating essence that it, you're not gonna be able to see it but that's where I started this was the first update so I finished up that little bit very very happy to see this gone because it just took me forever to use this. Alright, now to the stuff that I still have to work on for the next month or so. First one is the Neutrogena Eye Makeup Remover. It uh, That's where I started. This is where I am now. I, I normally go in with like an oil-based cleanser and then a cleanser so that generally takes off all of my mascara and my makeup so I don't really have to use this that often uh, and that's why this has not been completed yet so I'm gonna see if I can try and make this the first step before I go in and do the oil cleanser and then the cleanser to help use this up the next one, not much progress because I've been trying to use other skincare to improve my skin. Um, and then I'll probably go in and really start using this here. It's the Sunday Riley Martian Mattifying Gel Water Gel Toner. Um, the pump, it's an airless pump, so it goes up. You can kind of see here that it doesn't have that much product in it, but I'm just going by what the pump has down here. So that's my mark and I'm literally just right above that mark so I don't have enough progress to actually show. So I'm just keeping that start line. The next one I'm actually proud of myself here. I used quite a bit. It's the Paracone MD Blue Plasma Cleansing Treatment. So this was my last update and this is where I am now. So with that big of progress that I've had between the last update and now it makes me feel good that I could actually finish this by the finale next item is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Pink Lemonade this one here you don't need that much I have used it several times you can start seeing the dip in there but again you don't need that much I've probably been using more than I should be using um, because I feel like it's wasting a little bit but so because you don't need that much 
I don't think this will be finished by the finale, but at least if I can get a bigger dent into it, I'll be happy with that progress. All right, I have my Furb Drop Powder Dry Shampoo. This, I would have more progress on it, but I started using like a regular spray <laughs> dry shampoo and kind of left this in the dust here. So this was my first start, first update, and then now the second update. So I still have quite a bit to go through, but I think at this point right now, this is the only dry shampoo I have. I might have like a sample or two of something else, but I'm really going to try my hardest to finish this up so I can get this out. All right. This is also a little bit of a disappointment. I have been using it, but it's not that much progress. But it's the Sephora X nail polish in Revved Up. So here's where I started, or first, I don't know, start. And then that was like my second update. It's like right below that other line, so I'm not going to make a new line. It's just kind of pointless. Um, but I have been using it. It's just... I don't know, maybe I have to put three layers instead of two <laughs> to help that out, but it sucks to get off. I will say that. And then my last product that you cannot see progress, because I feel like it's just literally never ending, is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So you still can't, like, you can kind of see the rings right there but I'm still getting nothing. No pan, no nothing, and this is the only bronzer that I have been using. So yeah, <laughs> I'll be happy if I just get a little glimmer of pan by the end of December, but we'll see. But that is it. I'm happy with the progress that I do have. I was so excited to finish this uh, body butter right here because sometimes that is a struggle for me to finish up body butter and I just didn't want it to go bad because I do have a second one of that that I'm gonna start using after I finish up another body care product that I put in my other project pan um, so we will see how that goes but if you are doing this let me know if you're doing another project pan let me know so I can watch I love seeing people's progress on things and that's it have a great day bye